I was running Through the six with my wolf You know how that shit go Hey guys, Mr. T Laxify back and in today's video I'm coming at you guys I know you guys are probably so angry but I'm coming at you guys finally with the top five the re secrets you can all calm down this is finally out holy moly this took forever to make there's just so many complications the Reese absolutely ridiculous so, but anyways guys if you are new to this and this is your first video that you're watching of me thank you guys so much for watching but unfortunately I'm gonna have to make you leave this video and watch three other videos to actually understand this one so please watch my top five secrets of Shinonuma Nocturne Toten and Varok they'll all be on screen now just watch the Nocturne Toten first Varok and and then Shinonuma, and then finally this one. And anyways, guys, let's get straight down into this video. So coming in at our number five spot, we have the Embrace the Trinity Easter Egg. Now again, this correlates to the whole Nocturne Toten Easter Egg thing that I said in my Nocturne Toten Secrets video, which is why it is very essential and important that you watch those videos because they build off of each other. Now with the Embrace the Trinity Easter Egg, this was placed in the Doris starting room for a special reason, and that reason was just just because you have to actually turn on each teleporter in the map to turn on the pack a bunch each of the teleporters is shaped in a trinity which also could correlate in my personal eyes that it was part of the illuminati which we have clear evidence later on in the maps and i'll show you guys a little bit about that later also i feel this has some sort of correlation with the uh, MPD on Moon, which is the Moon pe Pyramid device where Samantha and uh, Richtofen trade places. And it's really interesting to see that they sort of had some sort of idea of what they were going to do for the last map, embracing the Trinity, understanding that Richtofen would eventually be one of the biggest role players in Black Ops 2. And just off of these little quotes that we see written by Richtofen himself, that's really, really interesting. And also, I have some extra stuff for the number five spot. You can actually find Maxis's office in the quick revive room and if you go down into this little section you will be able to find a little dog print uh, from Samantha's dog from Fluffy and also you will be able to find Maxis's name tag and a little book of element 115 or the group 935 right beside it very very interesting stuff and I also found a really really cool funny Easter egg in this map you can actually find if you go into no clip mode you will be able to find half a person hanging on a rope it makes absolutely no sense now my personal funny thing with this is I feel it's like asking where the other half of the crawler go and this is where the other half of the crawler goes even if you shoot it off it's just hanging on the ceiling and it's just rotting away I love it it's so funny and according to the Wikipedia this is actually a man named Dr. Grov now Dr. Grov would had some sort of correlation to do with Doris and there was a lot of bad experiments that Maxis was going crazy Richtofen was going crazy everybody was going crazy so that he just wanted to get out of there and beside his hanging body I don't know why they don't actually just show the full body it's just half of them I guess that might have been a texture glitch we're not totally sure you will be able to find a little help uh, sort of writing uh, written in Illuminati languages which is kind of weird and uh, guys we know that Richtofen is crazy and I feel the reason why he's part of the Illuminati he's just a crazy guy and if you don't believe me just listen to this hi Takeo yeah how you doing See all the puke that we're picking up? You're not saying thank you? Nothing? You know why? Because you're a little shit. Anyways, guys, if you haven't believed me yet, let's just head down straight into our number four spot. And in this one, this is going to be the map illusions of Call of the Dead, Ascension Paris, and also Doris in real life. So let's start with... Call of the Dead, Ascension, and Paris. Now, if you go to any of the teleporters, whether that, whether that being A, B, or C, you'll be able to find little bulletin boards with pictures of Call of the Dead, Ascension, and Paris with zombies. Now, Call of the Dead, you can see a ship. Ascension, you can see part of the Lunar Net Landers with the zombies. That's really cool. But with Paris, we've never seen that as a map. This could possibly be a uh, new Black Ops 3 map that we could be seeing. Or Paris was actually the codename for Moon. And I feel that Moon was actually supposed to be Paris and the Paris was supposed to be where uh, Samantha was being controlled or where she was controlling everyone because it was such a high building. And it kind of makes sense if you re 
really think about it. But honestly, I think Treyarch decided to put it on the moon, and it makes a little bit more logical sense to do that. I don't know, guys. That's just Treyarch's logic. And talking about the real Doris of uh, just in general on Earth, this Doris was actually made during World War II in Poland. And if you guys know about World War II, uh, it was part of the Czech Republic, and it was the first to go down due to annexation. Uh, if you guys have ever learned any history about World War II, it will make a lot of sense. If you don't, it's still fine. The reason why this was made, this Doris place, or Group 9 through 5, apparently joined up with not the Nazi zombies to do a specific wonder weapons. The exact purpose of what they did were still unknown in real life, and I feel like this is where Treyarch comes in. They wanted to make a game to realize how crazy this whole World War II thing was, and this is where Doris is, and they sort of implement it into their ideas and theories include about the actual Doris in real life they say they made wonder weapons including uh, stuff involving anti-gravity teleportation and time travel again the real question is if this was reality or not and this is again where Treyarch comes in and they just fuck up with your mind and head it's absolutely ridiculous Treyarch huge props to you probably one of the best gaming companies that screws with my head every damn day when I play with zombies but anyway guys let's head on straight into our number three spot and in this one this is going to be the moon map illusions and the fly trap easter egg now a really cool thing about moon obviously Treyarch at this point in time when they currently made the reese they were judging whether to put the last map on moon or whether to put it on paris but i guess they sort of decided midway through the production Put it on moon because you can actually see some little orange sort of lights going in a circle around uh, the moon or on the moon actually and this is only sort of in the resurrection map pack and I guess that's when they sort of realize okay Paris we're gonna scrap that and moon's gonna be the official name of this map which was really cool to think that they would be able to do that and also a really little cool thing I don't know if this actually makes any sense to do with whatever but if you actually shoot the M72 law or the uh, or the Mustang and Sally up at the moon on the Black Ops 1 version of Doris you will actually see these sort of white blasts which come out I don't know if, I think that's a really just minor thing but it's kind of cool and lastly on the number three spot this is going to be the fly trap Easter egg now if you don't know this Easter egg you probably do but the fly trap Easter egg is when you shoot these sort of black box kind of out far away off this barrier and these sort of power up spin and spin and they fly away they just fly away and everyone's like what the hell was that like wh what the hell was the point of that other than the achievement and this will kind of give you a little bit of sense of to what that was so according to the wikipedia this actually has relevance to do with a real life attempt of Doris trying to make a saucer to the moon but it turned out to be a failed attempt which is really cool thinking that Treyarch would be able to implement that sort of with power-ups again I'm not totally sure why and guys I have a really really cool theory so this might not be technically true but I think this is really awesome to hear but anyways guys with the fly trap easter egg it is made out of various power-ups these power-ups are two teddy bears a monkey bomb a juggernaut bottle a uh, bowie knife, a molotov, a pistol, and a grenade. And I feel like each of these symbolically represents someone on the map. Now the two teddies uh, in my eyes represent Samantha, obviously, and Richtofen. The reason why I feel it represents T Richtofen is because pe many people misjudge R uh, Richtofen or Eddie's name with Teddy, which is the reason why I feel it sort of correlates with that. Again, the monkey bomb I feel is another correlation to Samantha, and the juggernaut bottle I feel at first originated in Verrucht and appears on the German side of the map rather than the American side which I feel sort of has a correlation with Richtofen which is pretty cool. Lastly the Bowie knife is also available I feel or correlation to Takio, the Molotov to Nikolai, the pistol to Richtofen yet again and the grenade to Dempsey. When you tally that up you sort of realize who has the most power in Moon. Richtofen comes up top because he was able to control all of the world and the ether and blow up the world, yada yada yada. Samantha comes up number two because she still has more power than the main original characters that appear on Moon. And I think that was a really, cor really cool correlation that I made. I don't know, it's up to you if you believe it or not. But anyways guys, let's head down straight into our number two spot. 
And in this one, this is going to be the correlation to Nikolai and how the original crew got to Darius. So let's start this off in the Black Ops 1 campaign. Uh, you will be able to find unlockable intel about a man named Lev Kravchenko. And Kravchenko was actually a huge part of the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 campaigns. And he says that he had a member or a cousin uh, who took part in the massacre at Darius. And these guys had a huge standoff with the Americans. And personally, I believe this cousin, because Lev Kravchenko is a Russian name, to have a correlation or his cousin to be Nikolai, which is really cool. And I feel, honestly guys, if you've ever played the Resurrection map pack, in my eyes, I feel that, that the only map that actually happened in the storyline was Darius. Shinonuma, Varukt, and Nocturne Toten did not happen. And I'll tell you why. Darius was the only one that happened. I feel that there's a second part in time that Richtofen brought all the main crew, they, he manipulated all of them, and then he brought them to Kino de Toten, and that's why in Call of the Dead, he, you can hear quotes of him saying, oh, I should have not have said that I manipulated their minds, and stuff like that, and we can tell that there's a second part in time, because if you actually go into the Black Ops 1 computer, the CIDA, and if you type in the specific code that I have on screen now, you can see a more gruesome looking die or not die rise a more gruesome looking the Reese and you can see that it looks completely different to the one that you play in now and that's why I feel like there was a second instance where Ritofen came back to Darice to manipulate the minds of Ritofen, Takio, and Dempsey and then to bring them back to Kino de Toten. Another really cool thing that supports my theory is that in the Resurrection map poster Darice is actually spelled wrong. It's spelled with the I and the E uh, swapped around in places so the I comes first and the E comes second and in German this actually means the travel and this Wikipedia states that this is incorrect but I feel that it is actually correct the reason why is because like I said I feel the travel represents Richtofen bringing the uh, original characters to, Dere to Darice and to mess up their minds and then bring them back to Kino de Toten and they're all screwed up and Nikolai loves his, loves his vodka and that's where we can sort of see a huge thing about that and also I feel that the travel the reason why it's called that is because it was very short in time how can we tell if you go on the Darice map there is a ticking clock that always stops at the number or the time frame of 115 or 111 Five. This is a huge symbolism to what we see, meaning that the part where Richtofen brought the original crew in, this happened in a split second. That's how fast it happened due to the teleporters, and as we know, the teleporters was a huge part into this easter egg. So let's continue this theory onto our number one spot, and this is going to be the correlation between Harvey Yenna and... Peter McCain. Yet again, Peter McCain, what? The ghost of Peter McCain? Yes, guys, I feel he is a ghost and that he's haunting everyone. Let me explain. So, guys, let's start off with Harvey Yenna and who he was and what he actually did. So, he first actually appears in the Darice map on these bulletin blackboard things and he actually writes a message saying, Edward, I know it was you. And he writes Hyena as the sort of thing that it's correlating, meaning that it was obviously him, his signature. And that was sort of how he was replied because Harvey Yenna, you take the H, add the Yenna, it's Hyena. Pretty cool. But anyways, you can also find that Hi Harvey Yenna has a huge implementation into Call of the Dead because the scavenger upgraded is named Hyena in for Dead. So we're going to be talking more about Harvey Yenna when we get to the top five secrets in Call of the Dead. But anyways, with Harvey Yenna, he was actually working in this sort of Darice group with Richtofen and he sort of knows that Richtofen was trying to break out from Maxis's sort of uh, control of what he wanted to do and we can know we understand this because there's actually a quote where there's the room with a brainstem and the blackboard on the roof it says to faithful servant the seed has been planted observe and report Maxis must not know and this faithful servant obviously being Harvey Yenna and obviously he's saying that I know it was him meaning that 
that Richtofen's going crazy. He's trying to spread element 115. Harvey Yen knows it's him. And again, we'll see a huge correlation to him in Call of the Dead. But again, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. But let's talk about Peter McCain. There's, I feel that Peter McCain comes back in this map to haunt Richtofen yet again. So on the Darius loading screen, people always wonder what the eyeball and the finger are pointing at. I feel that the eyeball is sort of watching over the map. It's Peter McCain and the fingers pointing away from the uh, group 935. Obviously, when you're pointing away something, uh, you, when you're pointing away at something, it means you're in disagreement of it. So again, I feel like this is Peter's dying curse. If you haven't seen my top five Shino Numa secrets, again, I explain it in there. And also, it's just him saying that again. I told you guys, you're gonna screw up everything, and you can definitely see it. And also, I feel like the teleporters, whenever you use them, there's quotes from the past from different maps, different images flashing, and I feel like this kind of screwed up Richtofen as well, along as the other characters who constantly teleported in time. And because Harvey Yenna actually sent that message to Richtofen saying that he knew it was him, there's a very, very, very strange quote that Edward actually says in Call of the Dead, and this is, I suspect that there are more in the organization, Dr. Harvey Yenna and Dr. Peter McCain to be precise. Why would Peter McCain still be in the organization if he's dead, and especially Harvey Yenna? Again, this map has a bigger correlation to do with Call of the Dead, and we know that Harvey Yenna was telling the truth, and Richtofen was lying about how he's sort of betraying everyone, and he's saying, oh, I'm not going to spread Element 105, we're going to keep it at bay, I'm not going to rule the world, I don't want to do that, even though he pushed Maxis and Samantha to become zombies, and Fluffy to become the whole uh, zombie dog, and I feel like this teleporter and everything in his life is driving him insane. It's just driving him up the wall and he's just become a bipolar Nazi the Illuminati maniac and there's one quote again we can finally see in this map and it says that Teddy is a liar but this is Richtofen writing it and in the end when you play the Reese the the T eventually fades and it's Richtofen that ends up being the liar that's saying that oh my goodness you are the liar you lied to everyone but you really want to control the world so anyways guys that's gonna be the video again i know this was a super damn long ass video so if you stay to the end give yourself a high five give your dog a five five <laughs> give everybody a high five a five five whatever Again, guys, if we can hit 2,500 likes to unlock the next video, subscribe if you love this kind of stuff. It takes me so goddamn long. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully, you'll come up for the next week for Kino to Toten Top 5 Secrets. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.